MIUI 10 best full screen experience here or there if you have a Xiaomi device that supports the MIUI 10 update install it stop 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 don't go now because this is your go-to guide for installing the MIUI 10 I'll tell you what you need to do before that what you need what are the requirements what are the files file links global or China everything so let's roll the intro and I'll see you after that you are there so if you don't mind please hit the red subscribe button to the down right or down left according to the device you're viewing this video on so that will help you keep notified about all of the new tech updates from this channel and I promise I'll push out some new ones and good ones also to my old viewers I have not been putting videos I'm sorry for that because of my exams this was happening and you might face it during September 2 because then again my exams start so without wasting any more of your time let's get into the good stuff the pros of the MIUI 10 Firstly, it is a hell of a fast MIUI build. Switch, switching between apps, opening apps, unlocking the device, all just feels fast. Also, because of the animations are slow, uh, slowed down, I mean animations have been reduced, the face unlock and fingerprint scanner seem to work even faster. Actually, that's just a software trick, but yeah, it is faster. And the face unlock has become more secure because the some errors with I closed it doesn't now open so overall this is a very secure and fast build the second one is the full screen gestures which are better than ever including a quick switch toggle just swipe from any side and hold this will take you to the last app you used and this implementation is awesome because I personally use the quick switch a lot and this implementation is good for me the third one is beautified notification drawer and recent section which are better than ever just look at them doesn't it feels nice doesn't it feels new yeah the recent panel i first hated it but now it's way uh, more screen convenient and you get more real estate on the recent section the third, uh, sorry, the fourth point is the nature sounds which are implemented directly into the system and these are just awesome. The software just feels very clean and neat because of these sounds. Also, the timer app has now some nature sounds which you can play which is a awesome addition. The fifth and the last point is the volume slider which is just fabulous. It is now to the right and the media volume is turned on by default so these all things make it just awesome and these have been kind of carried over from the Android P to the Android 8.1 build and this is great. So the, those were main top features of the MIUI 10. Were they compelling? You want to install them? Uh, you go on it and search. Then you file, uh, then you find two files, global beta and China beta. Then you think what to do. Don't go anywhere, I am there. First, let's make it clear that you need bootloader unlocked and custom recovery for this. And this will not void your warranty because Xiaomi devices doesn't void warranty after unlocking the bootloader or even after installing a custom recovery which is just awesome and that out of the way global beta or china beta so china doesn't come with g apps which uh, you can understand and you can get through a method linked in the description but china is way smoother and better in ram management also camera is much better why would you choose why would you go for global then because global has pre-installed G apps, no force closes in Google apps and WhatsApp backups and other things can be recovered using Google Drive because Google has some problem with the China builds. Also notifications are not received on China, some uh, including WhatsApp and YouTube which might be a big no-no for you guys. The Google Assistant also has some problem because of the MIAI present. 
in the China build. Global is clean. I can sacrifice on these things, but not on smoothness, RAM management, battery, and camera. Speaking of battery, battery on China build is about six to seven hours, but on global is less than six hours. So, also keep in mind that global also has bugs, including portrait mode uh, on the back cam, which doesn't work at all. Also, China build gets frequently updated unlike the global so you can expect um, bug fixes way faster in China than in global if you don't want to unlock bootloader um, the MIUI 10 public beta is coming soon roughly around 2nd or 2nd or 3rd July so you can update through updater and uh, these were all for today's video if you like the video stay sure and subscribe to my channel notifications on and like this video also share it to all of your friends because that's very important and especially those friends who have a xiaomi device the like the redmi note 5 pro redmi note 5 which support the miui 10 so this is all for today's video and this is tanjavastava signing off